Welcome to the Castellay Virtual Tour. I'm Zoya Chikthai. And I'm Ashni Sheth. Castellay School has put together this virtual tour to give you the opportunity to visit our campus despite there being some restrictions due to COVID-19. You will have the chance to visit various popular student hubs at Castellay as well as hear from numerous students about their favorite locations here. We are very excited to take you through this tour. So without further ado, let's get started. Here's Ms. Kaufman. The theater on our campus is called the Chapel Theater because it's housed in what was once the school's chapel. On the stage in the Chapel Theater, dancers perform, actors perform. We have guest speakers who provide whole school assemblies for us. And it is where our eighth graders and our seniors give their very important speeches. And it's in these eighth grade speeches and these senior speeches that we get to see how our students have emerged as leaders um, with wonderful reflections about the things that are most important to them. As Ms. Kaufman mentioned, the events that take place in the chapel really bring us together as a community, which is why it's one of my favorite places on campus. I remember watching my best friends perform Legally Blonde the musical and seeing how much confidence they exuded as performers on that stage was a testament to how much they had grown. Another popular area for students to hang out is the beloved large patch of turf we call the circle. My friends and I spend break and lunch here and especially during this pandemic, we've come to appreciate having the space to hang out outdoors. A popular saying among many of our alums is, you can leave the circle, but the circle never leaves you, which is a reference to both the memories made here and the turf that gets stuck everywhere. This is the Casty Gym. It's where we host all sorts of sporting events, such as volleyball games and basketball tournaments. The gym is a pretty central part of campus. It's where we gather to show our school spirit and to support our peers as they represent our school. One of the highlights of the gym for me is the fitness center, where I often go after school to do weight training or to run the treadmills. We also have a dance studio where our dancers practice for AWA, which stands for Arts with the Heart. Arts with the Heart is a dance show that Castellay puts on each February, benefiting a specific nonprofit. This year, the show is benefiting the Maven Project, which is a telehealth medicine organization that provides comprehensive care to vulnerable patients through technology. The fishbowl is a common student area right outside of the fitness center that is open to any student, although it is mostly populated by upper schoolers. It is the perfect place to hang out before and after practice or just to do homework during free. My favorite memory from the fishbowl is sophomore year coming back to campus after soccer practice all sweaty and tired and just goofing around in the fishbowl waiting to get picked up. This is the pool patio, a super nice place to sit and eat lunch, talk to teachers, do homework, and where all of our bake sales happen. One of my favorite memories here is my first bake sale. I remember it was full of students from all grades crowding around looking for their favorite treats. Right next to the pool patio is the entrance to the Arriaga building, where the dining hall and language classrooms are located. Cassie chefs make absolutely delicious food, but my favorite is probably the Swedish maples, and my favorite dessert is probably the vanilla frozen yogurt. Lastly, on the third floor of the Arriaga building, we have our ACE Center, which stands for Awareness, Compassion, and Engagement. The ACE Center encompasses all of our clubs, affinity groups, and all of our identity workshops. This is the Born Lab. Lots of classes use the Born Lab for their class activities. For example, the 8th grade history classes use 3D printers for projects related to their trip to DC. The engineering classes build theft detection devices, bridges, and much more in this lab. I'm also part of Gator Botics, our school's robotics team, and we do a lot of our work in the Born Lab as well. We participate in FRC, an international high school robotics competition, and each year all our subteams work together to build a robot to fulfill the challenge for that year. Being on Gator Robotics is a great way for me to apply my love for STEM and meet other enthusiastic upper schoolers. On to the library. The library is really a hub of activity for both the middle and upper school students. There are so many places to work individually or in a group or just curl up and read a book from the library's extensive collection. 
The librarians and the students who volunteer there during their free time are incredibly welcoming and friendly and are always there to help find any book or give recommendations. The three librarians are also great resources for research projects, especially in the history and social science classes, and you will have many opportunities to work with them to find really cool primary sources. In addition to all the academic activities, the library is also host to our annual Edible Book Festival, where students can submit their cooking or baking to different categories of books and themes, as well as several author and poet visits each year. To me, the library is a place where you can always find a friendly face, whether it's librarians or friends. This is one of our upper school science classrooms, used primarily for chemistry classes. We have a huge periodic table on the wall and a variety of lab materials that allow us to have flexibility with our curriculum. Chemistry has been one of my favorite courses throughout my upper school experience, and I've truly felt immense inspiration for my teachers and peers when conducting labs and experiments in this room. The small sizes of our classes allow us to truly engage with our teachers and receive personalized feedback in exchange. One of my favorite memories was when we drew various aspects of Indian culture in the style mimicking that of a very popular Indian artist during the time period that we were studying. This is the middle school lobby, which is basically home for Castle middle schoolers. Here you can find the English, math, and history classrooms. We typically have comfy couches here where students can work and hang out. On the whiteboard, you can find daily polls, Pictionary games, and other student-created fun. CASTI is different this year for obvious reasons, which has created a constantly changing environment for everyone in the CASTI community. We've had to adapt to a new way of learning and teaching, but the relationships we form here and the memories we create will always be a part of the Castilea experience. We thank you for visiting us on this virtual tour and hope to see you on campus sometime in the future. Bye! Bye!